Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In today's video, I'm gonna review Arrival in 4K. This is one of my most anticipated movies to watch, so I'm gonna go over the picture quality, the movie itself, and if it's worth the pickup. Let's get to it. So anyway guys, I gave Arrival a watch uh, the other night, and I know I'm kinda late to the party on this. I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to review this sooner. Um, I had a couple of other videos in my backlog. I, you know, I just really couldn't get to the review. But overall, I gave this a watch the other night. And I went into it with a clean slate because I know it's up for a ton of awards. And overall, the director of this, I like his other pictures. I really liked Enemy. I really liked Prisoners. So overall, I went into it, you know, knowing that I was going to like the film, but I didn't want to, you know, blow out my expectations. So I'll go over the movie first. And overall, I thought the movie was fantastic. Now, don't go into this thinking it's like an Independence Day or really any encounter with a lot of action. There isn't necessarily a lot of, a lot of action, and I really like it. Um, I love the approach to it. I think the cinematography was out of this world. I think the directing was amazing. Um, it really put you into the character's shoes and really put you into the crisis that they were facing. And overall, just amazing movie but the one thing i gotta say about it is it's a little bit of a slow burn so you got to be a little bit patient with it now for the picture quality i would love to say that i'm really really impressed with the picture quality because there's nothing wrong with it so this is a 2k digital intermediate upscale to 4k and it the increase in detail is there the increase in sharpness is definitely there so overall you know the 2k to 4k upscale is nice the one thing that kind of gets me is the hdr grading now i am beat it with the blu-ray and overall the 4k still looks a lot better um but i watched the 4k first and when watching it on my oled i had to check my settings you know two or three times to make sure HDR was on and also make sure I was on the right ISF expert preset because it was such a dark shot film. And I know, I know that the director meant for it to be a very dark film. I know that this was intentional, but on the UHD, it's very dark. I wouldn't say that it's too dark because the HDR brings out the shadows a lot. And overall, I think that the HDR still has a huge benefit in this movie, especially like the orange hazmat suits. I love how that pops off the screen. I just wish the picture was a little brighter. That's it. Because the cinematography is so beautiful in this movie, I think it deserves just a little bit brighter. Now, on to the HDR color. It does have a nice deep color. Color. the greens are deep um, you know the cinematography with the spaceship really looks amazing with the fog rolling in and it doesn't have a crazy color palette but that has nothing to do with the transfer that just has to do with the drab color scheme that the director wanted to go with and I completely understand that but I gotta say the orange hazmat suits popped off the screen um, the Aliens, I don't really want to say anything, definitely popped off the screen. Soundtrack was amazing. And overall, it's definitely worth the UHD pickup. It just go into it knowing that it's not a super vibrant, bright movie. It's how the director wanted it to be. It's a little bit drab. Um, it's not super colorful, but it's a beautifully shot film. One of my favorite movies of the year. Really hoping this wins Best Picture, honestly. Although I haven't seen La La Land yet. And a definite pickup in my mind. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review tonight. Please throw me a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe down below for more content in the future. Have a good night, guys.